Colbert, we will talk about a 15-year-old who was on work experience as a student and found unexpected fame after taking over Southern Rail's Twitter account. Complaints about cancellations and late trains seem to be forgotten, and followers even use the hashtag AskEddy to quiz him about what they should have for dinner and how to make tea. Eddie was such a hit that Southern Rail invited him back for another day. Well, Eddie joins us now from the GTR offices in Crawley in Sussex. So, first of all, Eddie, why, why, why Southern Rail? And did you have to get a train to get there? Um, yes, I do have to get the train to get here. But um, I found out um, how to get into Southern Rail through... Oh, I wish I could ask Eddie more, but I think we've already lost the, uh, the webcam link. So, look, we'll, re we'll re-establish that. One of my friends who works oh, no, here... Eddie, sorry. now Eddie, I'm going to ask you, have we got a secure sorry. connection? Are you there? Yes, sorry, um, a call came in on the phone, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt. So, let's just uh, pick up where we were. Why Southern Rail? Um, I chose to go to Southern Rail because one of my friends uh, kept on telling me all of these interesting and amazing stories about his time there. And so I thought I'd give it a go because I didn't know exactly what I wanted to, to do. So I gave it a go, like I said, and um, it's just been such an amazing journey and I've enjoyed every moment of it. So people were tweeting, they weren't asking you when the next strike was, why the trains were late. They, they, they came up with some rather random questions. Yeah, so I quite, I quite like the questions. They, they're very, very, very out there, if that makes sense. Um, well, let, let, I, I, we've just I seen one. all of the positivity yeah, through to... all of the questions. Eddie, I'm just looking at one. What is the worst manga, Iron Fish or War? How did you answer that one? So, um, I had to say that, that fish manga were, uh, were the best because, because uh, at my local Asda, I don't know if you saw that, but the fish manga there, is, he's, he's absolutely amazing. Always sorts us out well. So, not War manga? No, they, they would have to be the worst. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so you, you take over this Twitter account, Someone must be looking over your shoulder. Did they suddenly realise, hello, Eddie's got some fans out there? Um, so I got experience last week because I was working with the Twitter team then and that's where I got my guidance and I kind of learned how to, how to answer all of the questions. So it was kind of a, a collective decision to let me go out there and, um, you know, say hello to the world. And then that's where I managed to get all of these questions. Hey, I've just found another one. Hi, Eddie, would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? What was the answer for that one? A uh, hundred duck-sized horses because, well, a horse-sized duck, that, that would terrify me. <laughs> Not sure about you, but that would absolutely terrify me. <laughs> no, you're right, it would terrify me too. So, there you are, you're sitting in an office, ostensibly handling one, what has to be one of the toughest briefs in the world because Southern Rail is not having an easy time. What, what did the bosses say to you about how to handle this account? So, yeah, so I got the guidance last week and it was mainly just, you know, how to talk to the public and how to, you know, be, be formal and, like, talk, talk in a manner where you wouldn't disrespect anyone and you'd, be, you'd just be helpful, which is what you need to be. Um, so that's where I learned how to, be, how to talk to the public in, in that sense. And what's, what, what sort of feedback have you had from the bosses? I mean, are, are they saying when you've done your GCSEs, we want to talk to you? Um, I've got lots of great feedback, actually. Um, well, not just from the bosses, but from everyone, everyone in the office. So I've, I've really appreciated all of that. And it's just all just been going great the past couple of days. You know you're going to get such stick when you go back to school, don't you? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> But, I mean, have you enjoyed it? What's been the highlight and what's been the worst bit? You must have had some questions you thought, frankly, I, I, I just don't know where that goes. Um, I had a few. I mean, I, there, were, there were a few questions that were a bit too far out there, and um, I don't know if I'm allowed to share them because they're a bit too, like, extreme. So um, there, there were a few of those that um, I just had to simply just pass on to some of my older team members um, to answer and just, you know, to tell them to refrain from that kind of, I have know, like, manner. Yeah, I'm so, I've got so many questions for Ask Eddie, but I'm out of time. I wanted to ask you if you'd rather travel Southern Rail or, or by car, but I won't ask you that one because that's not fair. It, good luck with your GCSEs. I suspect we'll be talking to you again one day about 
Well, who knows what, but best of luck, Eddie.